We now understand the fundamental principle behind Lenz's law. So how does one proceed when we want to predict the direction of an induced EMF? Well, we could use our trial and error method. That's fine. That is, you can guess the direction of the EMF and then check the implications of that guess. If the induced EMF and resulting induced magnetic fields build on the change, well, you know that you guessed wrong. But if the induced EMF and resulting induced magnetic field resist the change, you know you guessed correctly. Given that, let me walk you through a thought process that might make it a bit easier for you. Of course, you're welcome to justify your answers using either method. So for this thought process, let's use an example. We have a ring and a magnetic field. Now the magnetic field is going into the page and it's getting stronger. To oppose this change in flux, we need to resist this change. So if it's going in and getting stronger, to resist would mean that our induced magnetic field would have to be coming out through the loop. So now we just use our right hand rule in a backward sort of way, curling our fingers so that the induced magnetic field is coming out of the page within the loop, like this. And now we see that our thumb is pointing counterclockwise. And since our thumb represents the current, we know that the induced EMF is in a counterclockwise direction. Make sense? Let's do one more. This time the magnetic field is getting weaker, still into the page, but getting smaller in magnitude. So to oppose this change in flux, we need to resist the change again. And so if it's going in and getting weaker, to resist would mean that our induced magnetic field must be going inwards through the loop as well. So we take our right hand rule again, and in a backwards way, so to speak again, curling our fingers so that the induced magnetic field is going into the page through the loop, like this. And now we see that our thumb is pointing clockwise. And since the thumb represents the current, we know that the induced EMF is in a clockwise direction. So give some questions a try and see which thought process makes most sense to you.